Hey YouTube, how's it going? If you're new to my channel, welcome, and to my loyal followers, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you some common texting mistakes that men make with women. These are the top four most common texting oopsies that I see happening far too often. So let's dig into what they are and some alternative texts to send instead. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I release a new video. And be sure to leave questions and comments in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you personally as soon as I can. Quick question, when you get a girl's phone number, do you call or text her right away or do you wait a few days? Take the poll and let's see what everyone's really up to. Something that I see far too often on the dating scene is the dreaded three day rule. That's when you get a girl's phone number and wait three days to text her. Why this is a problem is because if you've just gotten a girl's phone number after one meeting, then it's unrealistic to think that that one interaction had the staying power to make a woman keep thinking about you. By day two, she has probably filed you away in her swing in a miss pile, or she knows that you're playing the three day rule because it's been around for so long. A good rule of thumb is to wait no more than one day. You're trying to build attraction and you need to build on your momentum. That is why waiting three days leaves too much space for her to move on. The second mistake that I see all too often is the boring, meaningless text. That is the sup, how's it hanging? Those type of texts that don't really light a fire under anyone's butt to respond and are quite frankly pretty useless in building attraction. This is the equivalent to the people that are uncomfortable in awkward silences and have to fill it with nonsense. The solution to this is to text when you feel like it and try and come up with something that will draw her in. You want to have a conversation hook. One way to do that is you could say, did I see you at the new use show last night at Element? Even if you didn't see her, this way you can open up a conversation about your night and even your music taste. This is a subtle way to bypass the hi how are you line of texting and jump right into your interests, like your taste in music. If you want to learn a bit more about texting and building attraction, head over to katespring.com slash free and get a copy of my attraction building handbook, which is completely free by the way. The third mistake is the destitute dude. The destitute dude is the needy guy who continues to text when his previous texts have gone unanswered. This is not a good look for a man or a woman. It comes off too strong. It's like having someone breathing down your neck and it does not lead to attraction. It leads to ghosting. I'll never forget that time I went on a date with a man and what happened after. The date went so well at first. I was attracted to him, he had the same interests, he was charming and funny. Pretty much everything that you'd want out of a first date. After the date, I was really excited to see him again until he messaged me directly after, probably seven times, saying how much fun he had and he was trying to make plans with me two months in advance. I was quite turned off at this point. It felt like he wanted to skip the dating and wooing part of courtship and just fast forward into a long-term relationship. Not only was he texting me nonstop, but he was also planning our future together after one date. Suffice it to say that I did not see him again and that the incessant texting didn't stop for quite some time after. Don't be that guy. One way to combat this is to follow the two to one ratio. For every two text messages you send, don't respond until she's replied at least once. This way you don't come off too strong. And the second thing to do is to wait approximately the same amount of time that she took to respond. Yes, this is a game, but the beginning of any relationship, it's important to keep the power in a state of balance and not show your eagerness or desperation. That will kill any chance you have at building some intense attraction with a woman. All right, our fourth and final no-no in texting is showing off over text. Because tone is very hard to convey over text, I wouldn't try and take the douchey joke approach because that can and usually does come off as just being an ass. Your first few messages should not include the following. A picture of your monthly income. A picture of yourself in boxers holding your junk in the bathroom mirror. A picture of your boner holding a towel. Or just a picture of your boner. All of these are big no-nos and they have been sent before. Trust me, I'm a fan of sexting, but with the right lead up, it should be a consensual thing. Sending a dick pic is always sketchy when you're not in a relationship. So hold off and test the waters. Instead, try sending funny memes or gifs or pictures of you on a hike that day. Regardless if you're looking for something long-term with a girl or just something casual, women still need a little bit of romance and the dick pic is not the modern day equivalent to a love poem. All right, YouTube, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you learned some valuable tips. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.